Un Academy. Let's crack it. Hello everyone. Myself Dr. Nikita Nanwani, educator at Un Academy, and today I am going to share with you the top 7 mistakes that we frequently tend to do in the examination hall. Be through this journey. I can definitely relate to what all you must be going through, and I can anticipate the mistakes that we generally tend to do. So, number one, if you want to win the match, most important is to first play it, and to play the match, you should reach the ground on time. That means make sure that you reach your examination center well in time, and you carry all the necessary documents with you. Second. As you enter the examination hall I want each one of you to exhale the fear and inhale positivity These 3 and a half hours are more of a test of your attitude rather than the aptitude Of course the knowledge is important but even the well read students tend to make mistake of getting anxious getting panicked and losing the game because of not maintaining the calm Third, if you feel that the initial overs of the match that means the initial questions in the paper are difficult for you, you don't know them, do not get panicked. Every other ball in a match is different from the previous or the upcoming balls. So even if you have had the initial maiden overs, the googly balls, have the faith that the rest of the balls are going to be in your favor and you will definitely hit a 6. Remember that no match is over till the last ball is bowled and that is your 200 question. So keep fighting till the end maybe the upcoming questions will be very easy for you. Fourth do not make the silly mistake of not reading a question well. Uh, skipping the words like except, not, incorrect, all are false except. Make sure that you do not make silly mistakes there. that is the biggest common mistake that we tend to do and then we regret on that so please don't do that then do not be too much cautious about the negative marking your examination scoring pattern is like plus 4 and minus 1 so even if you do 4 and correct at the cost of one right that will still neutralize it so do not overthink on any question do not spend too much time and attempt as many questions as possible Attempting the maximum number of questions is very very important especially if you are looking for a good rank. Then the most important thing maintain the calm in the examination hall. Forget everything. Do not look at this exam like this is the end of the world, the end of the life for you. This is just like a small hurdle, a small milestone that you have to crack to reach to your dream branch and dream college. Apart from that there is no much importance to this exam no patient is ever going to ask you how much marks did you score in which attempt did you clear the neat pg so you have a bigger picture of your life much much beyond this neat pg exam so these are some last minute tips the exam hall tips from dr nikita here and i wish each one of you all the very best looking forward to see you on the other side thank you